Hello, once again, subscribers of the Canadian Wi-Fi, my name is Toxic Imperialism, and I am here once again to narrate a battle that he had. This is another NU battle, so let's get straight to the team preview. His opponent, <coughs> excuse me, his opponent has a lot more threats than he does. It's very standard looking, but the one Pokemon that could easily destroy everything is that Chinchino, so he's going to have to play around that. Uh, and if you notice, the Canadian Wi-Fi's team has a Driplum and a Shuckle, and if you've seen, I believe, his 11th live narration, you should probably know where this is going. If Chinchino dies, then uh, the Canadian Wi-Fi should be able to pass from Driplum into Shuckle, but that's if. It's going to take a lot of preparation for that to happen. So, let's get straight into the battle right now. So the Canadian Wi-Fi is going to be leading off with his Progly, the opponent is going to lead off with the Golurk, this is of course a bad matchup so he's going to switch into his Alamomola. And the Alamomola does tank that dynamic punch for days, I suppose he's going to predict the switch and go into a Golurk of his own. Going to sub up on the Spore, not a bad play. And here is where things get a little interesting, I suppose. Uh, Earthquake is a 2-hit KO, which means that he's probably specially defensive, and th the Canadian Wi-Fi makes a huge risk in going for the Dynamic Punch, risking the confusion, and he does get it, thankfully. And he, instead of just killing the Amoogus, he actually sets up another sub. So he's playing really risky here. Uh, the Amoogus just breaks the sub with Giga Drain, however, he still is at a range where an Earthquake will kill. So that's one of the big threats out of the way. I'm personally very glad that this thing uh, went up to RU. Uh, now it brings in the biggest threat on the opponent's team, the Chinchino. And basically the only way that the Canadian Wi-Fi can play around this is if he stalls it out of life orb damage. Which isn't exactly the most fun to watch, but it is very necessary when he is using this team. So, he's just switching in between Golurk and uh, Driftblim, trying to stall it out of Life Orb hits. He unfortunately uh, mispredicts here, uh, either that or his opponent makes a huge prediction. He also makes a huge prediction here, going for the HP Ice that easily could have cost him his, uh, elect er, his Electabuzz. He's going to switch into his Alamomola again because of Regenerator, he's at a good amount of health, and he can go for the Toxic, which is... His Thankfully going to wear down that Golurk because that thing is a threat. Please move Golurk up to RU, Smogon. Can you please do that? In any case, um, he's, the Canadian Wi-Fi switches out and goes into his Progly as Death Fodder because, yeah, foddering is going to need is going to need to happen quite a bit when he's fighting this team. He's going to switch right back into his uh, Alamomola as his opponent switches into Altaria. He goes into his Electabuzz, and notice, er, and he reveals that he is Specs. Uh, the Canadian Wi-Fi makes another prediction. There are so many predictions right now. He goes for the Focus Blast, then goes into his Drift Blim to uh, pretty much hard counter this mill tank, and this is where things get pretty fun. He's gonna set up a stockpile as the opponent uh, just heals his mill tank. He's going to set up a sub now as he switches into his Golurk, get the Citrus Berry. And now he's going to stockpile again, basically using this Golurk as setup fodder. Ice Punch unfortunately does break the sub, but it does mean that the Canadian Wi-Fi can just stockpile up again, live an Ice Punch, and his Golurk will die to toxic damage. So now he has no choice but send in his Chinchino. He goes for the or he goes for the Baton Pass, goes into Shuckle Master Adam. And Shuckle Master Adam is just going to tank these Rock Blasts like it's nothing. Unfortunately, uh, the only problem with uh, the matchup of Shuckle versus Chinchino is that if a critical hit happens, which is very possible because uh, any hit of a 5 move hit can be a critical, then it will take a lot. Unfortunately, not unfortunately, fortunately, he gets the Evasion Boost, which means that basically this thing can start setting up for days. Um, and it's actually really funny the kind of modifiers that this thing ends up getting. So now he has some evasion boost, accuracy boost, he is at plus 4 attack, and the opponent can pretty much do nothing. He's really at a point where he just has to hope for a critical hit, 
and unfortunately for him, not one is not going to happen. In fact, he's going to miss a lot of rock blasts. So right now, Shuckle is at plus six in attack. He is at plus uh, five defenses, plus one evasion, and plus one accuracy. Get some more accuracy in there, and basically, it's time for everything to die. Uh, he's going to send in his Altaria, maybe hoping for a crit or a burn with the Fire Blast. Gets the exact opposite and misses. As uh, rollout is a easy two-hit KO. And basically, that's game. Uh, I think he's just going to forfeit here. No, he loses because of inactivity. But still. Uh, so that was a pretty great game. It was a lot of fun to watch. It was a lot of fun to narrate. So uh, thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you guys later. See ya.